respected, dedicated Detroit's finest in the city of Detroit. He was the kind of man that never took a day off, was never missing in action. Took care of folks, took care of the citizens. Presenting on behalf of Westside Unity Church, not only because I love him and, and the work he's done, but when I was a child, I received a good fellows package. Amen. Yes, I did. Amen. I didn't I didn't know what good fellows was. I was seven or eight, but I received them. So people who have received, they owe. Amen. I owe. I owe. Yeah. It's my pleasure on behalf of Westside Unity to present a check for one thousand dollars to good fellows. <laughs> So she left a hundred dollar check also to contribute. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I invite anybody, any other members who want to contribute to fellows. This is our charity this year. You know, some years we give to other groups. This year, good fellows, good fellows, because their motto is every kitty deserves a Christmas. Every kitty deserves a Christmas. And who better to lead that effort than a church, a Christian church, which is founded on roots? of love and goodwill. Yes. We are blessed to be here. We are blessed to be here. And the children who benefit from good fellows of Detroit, led by Darren Carey, officer, a uh, leader, Detroit Police Department leader, who would have been my chief. I told him when I was president pro tem for a minute the city council. Longtime Detroit civic and faith leader, the Reverend John Watson, died Monday, July 10, 2023. She was 72 years old. No cause of death was given. Her death was confirmed by Swanson Funeral Homes in Detroit. Born and raised in Detroit, she devoted her life to public service and to nurturing the faithful. In 2019, Reverend Watson received a Spirit of Detroit award that honored her as Supreme Mother of our beloved community. Reverend Watson was the first woman to serve as the executive director of the Detroit NAACP. She served as a Detroit City Council member for 10 years and served until 2013. As, as a former delegate to the 2001 United Nations World Conference on Racism, which laid the blueprint of fighting for equality and freedom. Detroit City Council President Mary Sheffield released a statement saying the city and the nation lost a civil rights icon. Mother Watson, as we also affectionately called her, was a trailblazer, stalwart, and one of a kind freedom fighter who loved her people and the Lord. Sheffield said in a statement, there are so many elected officials, leaders, advocates, pastors, business professionals, and community leaders that are who they are because Mother Watson was who she was, present company included. May her soul rest in peace and thank you so much for watching.